Hello everyone, welcome back to the English Danny channel. Uh, I would just like to thank everyone who has subscribed and has liked our videos and I would just like to say that it helps us out a lot. <clears throat> and uh, as long as uh, you guys keep watching, we're going to keep making videos and I hope that uh, you can share our videos to everyone else. Okay, today uh, we're going to talk about two words that are very important to learn that a lot of students struggle to understand the difference between these two words, even though they're very similar and we use them in a very similar way, uh, the meaning can be different. And quite frankly, when someone makes a mistake, sometimes we have to think a little bit to understand what they mean. So it's important to understand how these words are different. These two words are by and until. Some examples of how people get these words wrong or use them incorrectly is when asking about, let's say, the date or something. Like, I have to give something to somebody on Sunday. They might say, please give me this paper until Sunday, which is incorrect. They should say, please give me this paper by Sunday. The reason for this is because we use until to talk about a situation or a state of being that will continue up until a certain date or up to a certain date or moment, okay? And then by, we use by to talk about an action or an event <clears throat> that will happen, let's say, at or before a certain moment. So in that example, uh, please give me this paper by Sunday, we're talking about an action that will happen up to or before a certain moment. Let's look at how until is used correctly. So remember, when we talk about until, when we use until, we're using it when we're talking about a situation or a state, <clears throat> a state of being. For example, let's say that you are staying at your friend's house and you are there for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but you will leave on Monday, okay? So that's a situation and we're, we're talking about it that it will continue up to a certain moment, which is Monday. So your situation, staying at your friend's house, will continue up to Monday. So you can say, I will stay at my friend's house until Monday. If you say, I will stay at my friend's house by Monday, that does not make sense and it's wrong because stay at my friend's house is a situation. Now, <clears throat> let's use the same example. You are staying at your friend's house, but let's use the word by correctly to describe an action or event, okay? So this action, <clears throat> well, let's say, is arrive, okay? You will arrive at your friend's house at or before a certain time. Let's say Friday. You can say, I will arrive at my friend's house by Friday. And we use by in this example because we are talking about an action. So let's look at some examples of using these words correctly and incorrectly so you can understand. If you ask a question about your situation, for example, staying at your friend's house, you can ask how long you will stay. You will say, can I stay until Monday? If you say, can I stay by Monday? That is wrong. The person talking about you leaving, that is an action. So they can say by, for example, yes, but you have to leave by Monday. 
by Monday. They are talking about the action of you leaving. In this example, you are a student and you need to finish your homework because you need to give it to your teacher tomorrow. The situation is doing your homework. So if you talk about how much time you have, you can say, I have until tomorrow to do my homework. Until tomorrow. Your situation happens up to tomorrow. Now, if we talk about the action, okay, you, let's say, give your homework. You have to give your homework to your teacher. Then you would say, I have to give my homework to my teacher by tomorrow, okay? Not until tomorrow, because the action is giving. Okay, students, that's our lesson for today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you please hit the like button down there, share this video, and tell your friends to subscribe. Thanks for watching the English Danny channel.